600 miles off the coast of Ecuador lies the Galapagos Archipelago, a world unto itself, forged of lava and isolated for thousands of years. Visiting this enchanted islands is like walking into the middle of a wildlife documentary. Here you can swim with sea lions, walk alongside the world's largest tortoise, meet the unique penguins in warm areas, watch some of the colorful birds and explore dynamic, dramatic landscapes utterly unlike any other place on Earth. Travelers have a chance to get up close and personal with some of the planet's most rare wildlife. We mentioned that the islands were forged by lava. So, how was it formed? The archipelago is located on a junction where three tectonic plates meet and as a result there are numerous volcanoes. These volcanoes were erupting over millions of years. As the magma repeatedly broke through the seafloor, it formed layer upon layer of rock, eventually becoming islands. Today, there are 13 active volcanoes in these islands with intermittent eruptions. Another fun fact is that the islands aren't dormant relics of the past. They are continually evolving. Younger islands form while older ones gradually slip back into the ocean. As we have the three tectonic plates, the Pacific, Cocoa, and Nazca plates meet here, Galapagos Islands are one of a kind with sporadic volcanic activity and incredible, ecologically diverse landscapes make it a very special place on Earth. Much of the terrain in the islands feels different from the rest of the world, thanks to its uniqueness. Even though the islands were formed more than a million years ago, the first ever recorded visitor to these islands was Tomás de Berlanga, a Spanish noble and the Bishop of Panama during the year 1535. He landed here when his ship was blown off course, while sailing from Panama to Peru. But he was less than impressed with the stark, desert-like archipelago. Following this, many Spanish sailors soon visited the islands, but the inhospitable terrain discouraged permanent habitation. The Galapagos was annexed by Ecuador from Spain in 1832, which led to a trickle of settlements and penal colonies. It wasn't until the 1960s that an increasing number of Ecuadorians began migrating to the islands, drawn by opportunities in fishing and tourism. Today, more than 25,000 people live among the four inhabited islands of Santa Cruz, San Cristobal, Isabella, and Floriana. Another interesting fact is that, at one time in history, the islands provided refuge for English pirates. Charles Darwin, one of the famous biologists, actually has a special connection to these islands. He only spent five weeks in the islands in 1835, but it revolutionized the modern science and the way we understand the species of this planet. Here, he observed that the island's finches, which was later named in his honor, had beaks that varied from island to island, depending on local conditions and food sources. Darwin would later draw on this research as evidence for his theory of evolution by natural selection, which he presented in, On the Origin of the Species. In a way, this made the Galapagos Islands known to the world, as a unique destination, with a variety of wildlife. Since his initial visit to the archipelago, countless tourists have visited these remarkable shores. The Galapagos Islands is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and Biosphere Reserve, each island has its own unique landscapes, wildlife and activities, and only five of them are actually inhabited by people. The rest of the islands are completely devoid of human presence. Over 97% of the Galapagos landmass is designated a national park. Established in 1959, Galapagos National Park protects more than 3,000 square miles of islands, while the Galapagos Marine Reserve protects an additional 50,000 square miles of ocean around the islands. In most of the areas, people are only allowed to visit if accompanied by a park-certified guide. Galapagos Islands have a wide variety of fauna, found nowhere else in the world. They are the home to the one of the giant tortoise species on Earth. These giant Galapagos tortoises weigh over 270 kilograms and have a lifespan of over 150 years old. They hold the record of the longest lifespan of any animal on Earth. The giant tortoises can survive up to one year without food or water. Tragically, this unique adaptation was a leading factor in their demise over the centuries, 
as thousands of tortoises were captured and stored on board ships to provide fresh meat for sailors. More than 100,000 tortoises are estimated to have been lost, leading to the extinction of several species and pushing others to the brink. Another famous inhabitant of the Galapagos is the blue-footed booby, a seabird known for its distinctively colorful feet and its fanciful mating dance. Their courtship dance is quite a sight to behold as they prance about, raise their heads up to the sky and spread their wings. While the blue-footed booby is the most famous, the Galapagos is actually home to three different types of booby. The air red-footed and Nazca boobies also found here. Watching them plunge from the air into the open ocean and emerge with a fish in their beak is quite the visual treat. Their distinctive diets are responsible for the pigmentation in their feet. The islands even have their own penguins which are the only ones found north of the equator. Though penguins are more commonly associated with the southern hemisphere's chilly realms, the Galapagos penguin thrives in its tropical Ecuadorian habitat thanks to the cool, nutrient-rich waters which flows north from Antarctica. With more than 400 species of fish and an abundance of wildlife in the Galapagos, there is certainly plenty to see. The lack of natural predators has made the creatures found in the islands have very little natural fear of people. Tortuga Bay is a white powder beach, located on Santa Cruz Island and is one of the most popular places for swimming and snorkeling on the island. You'll likely have a chance to snorkel alongside fish, sea turtles, reef sharks, and marine iguanas, while boobies fly overhead and dive into the water for their dinner. There are over 400 species of fish surrounding the Galapagos Islands with more than 50 endemic species. There are also more than 800 types of mollusks, including oysters, cuttlefish, snails, squids and octopuses. This makes the islands a seafood lover's delight, as well as a scuba diver's or snorkeler's paradise. You can also visit uninhabited islands by boat. Bartolome Island is one of the most photographed places in the Galapagos due to its stunning crescent bays and moon-like landscape. Rabida Island is famous for a red sand beach that is home to flamingos. Isla Mosquera is a small lava reef where you can swim with sea lions. In the 18th century, on the island of Floriana, a barrel was used as a postal box by crew members traveling aboard various ships in the region. This site became known as Post Office Bay, and to this day it remains a popular attraction for many visitors who wish to leave a letter or postcard, or pick one up, if they believe they can deliver it to the addressee. Unobscured by light pollution, the night skies over the Galapagos are a dazzling sight on the planet. The islands experience a year-round temperate climate. There are, however, two markedly different seasons. A hot season, which sees warmer, humid weather from December through May, and a dry season, which is slightly cooler and extends from June through November. Depending on the season, the islands are either lush, green, and tropical or slightly barren, colorful, and arid. The islands of the Galapagos are host to a convergence of four currents. Given this fact, it can often be difficult to predict wave activity. Similarly, water temperatures vary, along with underwater visibility and marine species. With its unique position, being located near the equator, the archipelago also offers a rare opportunity to view the constellations of the both the northern and southern hemispheres at the same time. They have a steady 12 hours of daylight every day, all year round, means you also get 12 hours of starry nights. It's all about balance.